It's really exciting to be in this building because when I look around and I see modern state-of-the-art educational facilities where we can teach students in a real-world, hands-on environment, and then also the theoretical, so that students pick up everything, both sides if they need to, so they can go out in the workforce and be immediately profitable, immediately available and able to produce for contractors in the area. It's representative of the value that we as a college and we as a society really should put on construction trades. We've got uh, basically three large labs. This is the air conditioning lab. Right next to us we've got an electrical lab where they'll do similar thing, simulate wiring of a house in different modules. The largest lab is a combination lab that's both construction and plumbing. Along that wall we've got what we call training vignettes where students learn how to install a, a toilet or a sink or a hot water heater. And in that lab, it's large enough that we can build fairly large projects, whether it be storage buildings, which is what we're probably gonna start with, maybe tiny homes, maybe modular homes. Those are the kind of projects that are in the future. We felt like that it was so important that construction trades be highlighted. And so we looked at our building and we thought, we could have built a much cheaper building than we built on the back of campus. We could have built a metal frame building. We could have done everything we needed to do, but we wanted to say to the community, we want to say to our culture, that working in the trades, working in construction, carries dignity. It's important. It's a great way to build a life. And so as we factored in that and thought about it, we also thought we want it up front. We want it to be something that people see. So we put this building, the very first building people see and come to when they enter our campus is a construction trades building. The trades people are all graying just like me. The average age of most trades people is in the mid 50s and there's not many young people going into the field. So in Burke County, in North Carolina, in the nation, there is a growing need for skilled trades people. It's been growing for the last 20 years, and it's sort of at a critical point now. Never had anything like this in my entire life. Uh, in the 30 years that I've been teaching, this has been the only facility where we've had air conditioning, for one. It is the only facility where we were able to build something inside rather than being in the elements of hot and cold and rain and everything else, which you would have to adjust your classes. Depending on if it was raining or not, you might have to change your your instructions to go into the classroom because of the weather. So this is, this is absolutely great. It's a great situation in that we can take a student from a classroom, sit at the area, show them something, whether it's on a computer, a TV, on the whiteboard, and then you can physically just walk less than 50 feet to the actual project, as opposed to, for example, you're in a building in a classroom, but your live project is miles away. So it makes it a little bit more difficult. In this environment, you can go straight from a classroom right to the project, and if need be, right back to the classroom. Being able to jump back and forth in such a short distance really is an advantage for a student and an instructor both. We are thrilled that the community has responded so positively and so enthusiastically for this building. The community response to having our Regional Skilled Trade Solution Center just reinforces the fact that we were correct in responding to this critical community need and industry need now. When a person enrolls at Western Piedmont, they have an incredible opportunity to access highly affordable, high quality education, small classroom settings, where they have deep connections to their faculty and their other classmates, and they can do it debt free. We have incredible student services staff who can help guide the advising process, understanding how to navigate through being a community college student. We have a wonderful financial aid staff, and we have a brand new Neil Bowen Watts Skilled Trade Scholarship that students can also access. So we're really grateful for all of the community support that will enable students to get into the curriculum side, come out with a degree, and be able to apply it and not have to worry about student debt afterwards. Mm -hmm.